when I want to heal the spot on my image, I always create a new layer by coming down to this icon and click on new layer. Click on that to create a new layer and I double click and rename that to spot just for me to know what that layer is for. So once I'm done with that layer, you can zoom in if you like or you can walk zoomed out. It all really depends on how you want it to be. So head over to the spot healing brush tool. You want to right click and select the healing brush tool. That is one I always make use of, but you can make use of the spot healing brush. It's just your choice or what works best for you. So I'm going to click the spot healing brush. Now I am working on a new layer and um, empty layer. Now what I'm going to do, I'll go up to the part that says current layer and click on that and set it to current and below. So I can sample from the below layer and paint over. So now once you're done with all these stuff, to the diffuse, you want to set the diffuse to five or below five because this determines how soft your brush is going to be. This works like flow when you are making use of the brush too so come down to the brush settings make sure your hardness is not all the way 100 all the way to 100 because you don't want to get a strong edge at the ending of your retouching so i'm going to take this down to about 50 percent is okay for me so i'm going to keep that to 50. now <clears throat> there is no tablet connected to my pc which we are going to make use of later on so if you are making use of a tablet for this you can just turn on the pen pressure but you can turn that off but most times when i use tablet i always turn off the pressure so that everything is going to maintain its size and its proportion so once you're done with all these settings you can increase and decrease the size of your brush with the bracket keys on your keyboard that is a square bracket key so now i'm going to zoom out and what i'm going to do i'm just going to Take away some of all these spots on the face. Now, when you are taking away spots from the face, you don't want to take away everything because you want to keep some reality into the what the image. So now, for you to start taking away this spot with the spot healing brush tool, you can hold an Alt on your keyboard to sample on any area of your picture. And when you sample, click hold on the Alt and make use of your left click. When you move to any part, you can see that you have. An item on it where you can put so you can just click on that and it's going to cover up that particular area and so so now you, I'm just going to hold down odd and click and cover up that part so this is where you have now the reason for creating a new layer is just for you to see between the before and the after you can also make a duplicate of your image layer and work on that but I just like putting mine on a new layer so i'm just going to go through these and just take away some spot by just some and you should know that whenever you something just don't want to paint like this because it's not really going to be cool you just want to click and sample on that area you want to erase the item from so i'm just going to do that When removing, removing spot from the face, you don't want to remove everything. You just want to remove the ones that are really distracting because you still want to preserve the reality of that image. So I'm just going to remove the distracting ones and mainly not everything on the face. And if you keep working, you just want to check between the before and the after to see your progress of what you've done so far.
so now once you are done you can proceed to making every other modification to this like making use of the mixer brush to smoothen the face after applying the frequency separation or whatever it is you want to do so i'm going to see you guys in the next class